whenever we are connecting an inductor in a circuit we want to represent that inductor by using some symbol we already discussed that symbol is called as a circuit symbol because we are connecting this passive component in a circuit this is called a circuit symbol this circuit symbol we use for indicating the air core inductor if we draw two parallel lines this is called as iron core inductor sir if we draw two lines why it means iron core inductor actually we are taking an iron material and on this iron material we are holding a wire this is iron core inductor but in the diagram it is very difficult to show so that's why we are representing an inductor with two lines it is always indicating an iron core inductor if we take the ferrite core then it is ferrite core inductor that can be indicated by break lines this is the ferrite core inductor this is fixed ferrite core inductor we are not able to move this ferrite core inductor the core material is not allowed to move here this is variable ferrite core movable ferrite core inductor we can shift the position of the core material in this we are using a arrow okay this is variable inductor the inductance value can be changed that's why we are calling this as a variable inductor we are indicating by simple arrow this is a tapped inductor what is the meaning of tapping if we connect this terminal to the ground that is called as tapping if i connect to the center terminal to the ground then it is called as center tapped inductor center tapped inductor okay this symbol is indicating which type of inductor air, air core. core this is air iron air core ferrite core mobile ferrite core variable inductor tapped inductor okay if i do not show any midpoint is connected to the ground then it is tapped inductor if the midpoint is connected to the ground center center tapped inductor 